What's up guys, welcome back to Japan, welcome back to the channel. What would you guys say if I got rid of the TE37SLs and got something else? Currently, they are now on Ski's car. And my car has something else on them. You guys mad yet? <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, Ski, my buddy, saw him in his car over there. He is getting his car JCI'd. His inkies are too wide to patch JCI, they're too aggressive of a fitment. So, I guess if we could swap, we're gonna get it JCI'd, swap back, but figured you guys might enjoy some car content. So, let's check it out, let's get started. Can't wait to get my Evo brakes on there. Oh, are you picking those up? I already have them. I have everything I need for the swap. I'm assuming this is probably a really boring video for you guys, but I just figured I'd do, like, I'm doing car stuff, so I thought you might want to come along. All right, so this is what, obviously, my wheels normally look like. <laughs> we didn't take the spacers off, so the fitment's kind of aggressive, but, Oh my gosh, oh. dude, look at that. What do you guys think? Y'all like the wheels on the, I like those wheels though. Once it's lowered, yeah, you can see how it's, jeez, that's aggressive. Man, the 19s make a huge difference in height. Once it's, it's also not settled yet because it was just off the ground, so. Man, I can't wait to see the whole side done. I'm really curious. <laughs> the 19s in black on his car. Looks so good. Oh my gosh, he's not hes not, not gonna wanna back, I don't think. Okay guys, this is wild. Regular fitment, which is pretty solid, not too aggressive. A little bit of camber, too, oh my god. So most people don't run 10 and a half wide wheels with plus 15 offset and spacers. I got a 10 millimeter spacer in the rear and then a 15 spacer up front, and it causes these wheels that would be flush normally to be really aggressive. <laughs> Uh, I kind of like it though. What do you guys think? Well, he's getting the other side up. Look at this thing. How sad. I'm only gonna show this for a minute. Oh my gosh, I can't even look at it, dude. This breaks my heart. Oh god, I can't look at it. <laughs> oh man. Dude, I kind of wish I'd lived out here. Look at these look at the big garages. He said there's a car down here. He's got two Evos, Evos in his one garage. I'm like, man, I want a garage. So he just came over and showed us his Evo 4, the engine bay. It's beautiful. My buddy Justin uh, has a really clean R33 GTR. Painted his valve cover for him and stuff and it looks so sick. Oh, another Evo with white wheels. Okay, we're gonna get a sneak peek, guys. Oh, that fitment is beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Woo that is sick. Dude, that looks so good. Blue with the white. Four G is just purring. Freaking beautiful, dude. Oh man, I heard you got another one in the garage. It's crazy. Surprise photo shoot. Yeah, my bad. What's up, dude? What's up, man? Hanging out. My gosh, she's beautiful. That blue with the white looks so good. I'm not normally one for white wheels. I've said that like a million times. Yeah. But every time I see a car with white wheels, I'm like, oh, that looks so good. Well, for me, uh, every Every uh, Group A car needs to have white wheels. Yeah. It's valid. So. That looks so good. And the Evo 7 back there? Yeah. Yeah. So that one also has white wheels. I don't know if you can see it in the back. But, yeah. oof. That Evo 5 seats? Or are they all the four seats? I didn't know. I, thought, I wasn't sure if they all came with them or not. Oh, yes. White gauge cluster. That's sick. The Evo 7 right there. Oh my gosh. Dude, living the dream. What? That's crazy. <laughs> the wheels are swapped. He's about to jack his car up. Or he's about to take the jack stands out of his car. But look at this. What do you guys think? How concave those wheels are. They look really good. These are the... Hey, there's the Inky R... RSO5 RR. RSO5 RRs. Oh, it's so many letters. Just name them something. <laughs> uh, man, they look really good though. I don't know my buddy Daniel of the mainland. If you're seeing this video, you're probably loving this. Some of his favorite wheels. That is awesome. Real quick, run down on the car. On the way here, uh, having some, it wasn't overheating, but it was getting hot, hotter than it normally does. And I'm kind of concerned. Never had any cooling issues with this car. So we're gonna 
check some things out and see what might be up. The car's settled. Look at that fitment. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. This super aggressive fitment really works with the slightly stretched tires. Man, that's crazy. Also, a little bit low on coolant. That's why I had some of the overheating issues. We're actually gonna run to the store. We're gonna grab some sealant. Um, we're gonna resolder my mass. I'm having a little bit of some breaking up a little bit between three and 4,000 RPMs. So that's gonna be the fix, hopefully for that. I'm gonna try to get the car squared away. <sighs> so I don't know if I told you guys or if you've seen the videos, I am leaving Japan sometimes, ooh, sometime soon. Uh, not soon, end of November, really sad day. I'm trying to get the car squared away. I talked to Dawson today from Garage Defend. We're gonna ship the car back. Spencer from your car, bro, what's up, dude? He's actually gonna import it for me. So if you watch his channel, you'll see this, my car on it whenever he gets back to the States. Jeez, so this R3 GTR is a beast. T51 turbo, Woo. fully built. Oh my gosh. So from what I understand, this dude got this car for like 18,000 recently. And you saw that right. V-Spec R33 GTR. It is, from what I understand, it's fully built, 700 horsepower, T51R. Absolute beautiful car. So he took the T51R, now he's got a big Borg Warner. Oh my gosh. So this video today was not supposed to be this. This is awesome. Wow. So he doesn't know, so he bought the car previously built. He doesn't necessarily know all the mods. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it. It is absolutely cammed. Oh my, it sounds so mean. But yeah, he's running the Hall Tech ECU. Trying to get some new uh, some new mods on there. Check out the carbon fiber cooling panel and grill. That's unique. I like that one. Yo, that's sick, dude. It sounds so healthy, too, running. This is a beautiful car. So, you probably see it's a little dirty. He takes it, it's been raining, so he hadn't washed it. But, God, dog. Can we get a little rev? He's got a 180 SX over here revving up. <laughs> my car at all man that's awesome so right now we have three Arthur three GTRs he's out here got one too. Huh? Dev's got one too. oh my god the guy there in the balcony he's got another one dude <laughs> this video is wild <laughs> okay this is just starting to get ridiculous dude this is insane <laughs> so oh my god the 400 R bumper god oh he's got the Devil blade on there, T37s, see side skirt extensions. What's up, man? So this guy that owns all the FDs on the arc, on the end, this is insane. What's going on? So this is a Series Three. Uh, I could tell, but when he hit the brakes, the two inside circles did not light up. So it has to be a '97 or eight. <laughs> now you're fine. But man, I. Who thought coming, I was like, hey, I'll, I'll come help you swap wheels. And this happens. What? This is too many, this is too many monies right here, I think. Oh my God. Oh, shit. This is awesome. I haven't seen you in a while though, man. How you been? Still in 700 horsepower? Yeah. Still running, what, eight miles a gallon? Something like that? Something you see you got two fuel pumps, right, you said? Yeah, well, no, three. Oh, three fuel pumps, that's what it was, something wild, yeah. So this is also a fully built, nasty freaking monster. We talked a long, long years ago at uh, the on base there, auto hobby shop, let's go. Yeah. At, the, at the auto hobby shop. First time I ever really saw the car. Jeez, got the gold tees. The side skirt extensions. 
devil blade with the Nismo end caps, carbon fiber exhaust cover. Oh, we got the 400R bumper as well. I didn't realize. Yeah. Our rear, rear and front. Gainer doors, mirrors. Jeez. So, my car is officially the worst out of all of these. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. So yeah. Bad bearing, so. Hey, he's got. Yeah, if you heard the wheel bearing, he's on. He's working on it. No big deal. Friday. All these cars. Yeah, it's coming in Friday. So all these cars are always a work in progress. You know what I mean? So. Love that 400R bumper. That is sick. Yeah, the, it's fully fully caged. Oh man, this is a freaking awesome lineup, man. What an awesome day. Jeez. So I'm having a math issue. We're gonna cut the sealant, resolder everything on both maps, and uh, then I'm also gonna. I have an intermittent headlight issue. To my left, HID for some reason sometimes will flicker or not come on. Not the tap it, so we're gonna resolder that as well. This is supposed to be a quick, easy day. Now my car looks way different with different wheels. And then we got all these awesome cars that showed up. I freaking love Japan <laughs> so much. <laughs> Pulled the maps off. Um, so you can see my, found our culprit. Oh. Found the culprit to the intermittent issue with the HIDs. Negative wire, soldering came off, so it was kind of bouncing around in there. But, ski. Come out here to hook up, hook me up, and uh, he's gonna not cut my fingers open. hopefully not cut his fingers open with his exacto knife. So this video did not turn out like I expected at all. It was supposed to be just a fun come over here, swap wheels. Then it turned into, hey man, let's check out the coolant issue. Hey, let's go ahead and fix your maps. Let's go <laughs> fix your headlight. Uh, then all these speed ass cars showed up. Uh, made this video really awesome. I'm pretty stoked. And I hope you guys watch this. If you guys aren't already, make sure you hit the notification bell. I got 4,500 subscribers and my videos are, right now the last three are all under 1,000 views. Like and subscribe, motherfucker. <laughs> what, what he said. <laughs> yeah, if y'all aren't catching the notifications, man, there's some awesome stuff. You gotta soak the stuff up while I'm still here. Come on, we got a few more months left. All right, so he got this one already off. As you can see, ooh. So the one on the far right, the fourth contact. Already looks bad. So, I'm gonna melt all that stuff off. He's razor blade in the second one. Man, I'm stoked. This, like, throttles, it feels like I don't really know how to explain it. Just between three and 4,000 RPMs is really jerky. We're all soldered up. This one has a sealant already on it. He's putting the sealant, or he's in, putting the lid back in here. Sealant's on. We're just gonna smooth it out, make it look all nice. And that's it. We're gonna throw it back in the car and hopefully my issue will be gone. So we've got the mass in the car. Uh, headlight ballast is bad. I think we shorted it out just now. So I'm gonna limp it home. I'm really close to my house. But you hear his car. Much louder than my car. <laughs> Sounds really good. Hear yeah, those tur turbos? That sounds really good. Maybe hold on. We hold this. Give y'all a little taste. But shout out to Ski. Appreciate you helping me out, man. It's awesome. Yeah, hey, Matt. Thanks for showing me your car. <laughs> But I'm gonna head back to the house. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, as always. I'll see you next time.